Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Williams, and um, today we're going to start a series of sketchbook lessons. So I'm going to turn my camera down so you can see what I'm working on. You can see I'm working on a picture of grapes right now. Um, I picked up this sketchbook. I love this one. It's got really nice paper, and um, it's just the right size, not too big. So I'm working on a picture of some grapes. Let me get that better in the light. There we go. And uh, this lesson is about cutting out a picture out of a catalog or a magazine, something that you think it would be fun to draw. I tend to go for fruits and vegetables. We've talked about this in class because they're, um, they're just easier. You can't really tell that it's not working out so well. Like if you're trying to draw a picture of a person, that can be really challenging. Um, fruits and vegetables are very forgiving. So um, I happen to have this seed catalog with lots of pictures of fruits and vegetables. So I just picked out some grapes. I'm gonna set that aside for a minute. And um, I started by cutting out the picture and taping it right into the sketchbook. And then I chose kind of a medium colored pencil. This is a uh, dark brown, it's not black. Um, and I'm just using this for sketching. One of the things in a sketchbook is you you don't want this to hang on a wall. It's nothing you're going to give to anybody. It's just practice. It's truly practice and it's fun and it's relaxing and there's no stress. Um, so I don't have an eraser anywhere near me. I'm not planning on erasing anything and I'm just giving it a try. So, so when I'm sketching with my brown pencil, what I'm really looking at first is just getting the shapes. And so what I did first is sort of look at this leaf in the background and I just sketched in that leaf. Um, if I felt like I, I did a line in the wrong place, I just put it in the right place and I leave the old one. I don't even worry about it. It's very sketchy. Um, for grapes, for doing these spheres, I just went in and, and did sort of some roundy shapes and some of them overlap with each other. So I was thinking about which grape is actually on top of the other one and, and showing that. But you don't have to be too careful. Um, another fun thing with grapes or any kind of fruit, if I hold this up closely, you can really, let me get the light, there we go, you can really see the light highlighting on each grape. And so I left a little space, I actually drew that in with a little shape and I'm going to leave that white. That's where the light is hitting the grape, really gives it that rounded look. And then you can also see in between the grapes, it's really, really dark. So I'm just going into my picture and filling in those gaps nice and dark. And then when I feel like I have the shape and the roundness and the light and the dark, then I get to the color and it's the very last step. And so that's where I am right now is just working out color. I've chosen a few different colored pencils. Um, for my greens, I've been using these two different greens and actually a little bit of yellow because this is a pale green in this leaf. And so I'm seeing some yellow in there. So I'm just sketching it in kind of, kind of light, mixing my colors until I feel like I've got the shade just right. And in the lighter parts of the leaf, there'll probably be more yellow and in the darker parts of the leaf, more of the darker green. And then same thing with the grapes. I actually have five different colors I'm working with on the grapes. I have a dark purple, a lighter purple, almost like a, well, I guess it's just an even lighter purple, um, an orange and a red. And when I'm blending all of those in different grapes and in different parts, that's coming up with that rich color of the grape. So, um, so again, in a sketchbook, it's just for practice. It's just for fun. I'm going to keep working on this and I'll put a series of photos so you can see the different steps that have taken place to make this happen. And next week we'll have another sketchbook activity. All right. I look forward to drawing with you. Bye.